This is Jamaica. Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're diving into the vibrant world of the Caribbean, specifically the jewel of the West Indies, Jamaica. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single beat of this fascinating journey. Watch the end of the video to uncover the secrets of Jamaica. Jamaica is the third largest island country in the Caribbean Sea. It has a total land area of around 4,040 square miles, making it similar in size to the state of Connecticut. Jamaica is located about 90 miles south of Cuba and 100 miles west of Haiti. The terrain is very mountainous, with about half of Jamaica covered by the Blue Mountains in the east. The highest point is Blue Mountain Peak at 7,402 feet. Mountains slope down to coastal plains ringed with beautiful beaches and bays. The climate is tropical but pleasant, with cooling trade winds blowing from the Atlantic. Major rivers crisscross Jamaica include the Rio Minho, Rio Cobre and Black River. Offshore, Jamaica is surrounded by a continental shelf with stunning coral reefs, supporting diverse marine life like whales, sharks and sea turtles. Jamaica has four main administrative parishes, Cornwall, Middlesex, Surrey and Sussex. Kingston is the capital and largest city, home to almost one million residents in its metro area. Other major cities include Spanish Town, Portmore, Mandeville and Montego Bay. Jamaica's history spans from pre-colonial times to the present day. The original indigenous people, the Arawaks, arrived around 650 AD. In 1494, Christopher Columbus first landed in Jamaica, beginning the period of Spanish colonization. The Spanish enslaved the native Arawaks to work in the mines and on plantations, leading to their virtual extinction. By the end of Spanish rule in 1655, few indigenous people remained. Once England gained control of Jamaica from Spain in 1655, the English quickly built it into one of the world's leading sugar producers through the Atlantic slave trade. Jamaica's economy became dependent on slave labor on giant plantations. Over a million enslaved Africans were brought to Jamaica in horrific conditions. However, several slave revolts rocked Jamaica culminating in the famous Baptist War Revolt of 1831 that accelerated the abolition movement. After slavery was abolished in 1834, a period of apprenticeship continued where freed blacks were forced to provide mandatory unpaid labor. Full freedom finally came in 1838. However, most slaves remained dispossessed and racially discriminated against. After the Morant Bay Rebellion in 1865, the British government assumed direct control over Jamaica, instituting the Crown Colony system, which stripped voting rights from blacks. In the early 20th century, Marcus Garvey led a growing Back to Africa movement and push for self-government in Jamaica, as well as across the broader Caribbean. By 1944, Universal adult suffrage was instituted in Jamaica. A new constitution in 1953 finally gave Jamaica control of domestic affairs and governance. In 1958, Jamaica and other British West Indian islands formed the short-lived West Indies Federation in an early attempt at full independence as a region. Yet after the Federation dissolved in 1961, Jamaica moved forward alone. Having developed a strong sense of national identity and desire for self-rule, Jamaica was granted full independence on August 6, 1962, after over 300 years of British rule. From the 1970s to the 1990s, democratic socialism shaped Jamaica's policies under Prime Minister Michael Manley. However, economic troubles and high debt plagued the country. The conflict between rival political parties also caused social unrest and violence at times. 
Jamaica's total population is estimated by the World Bank to be about 2.8 million people. The majority of Jamaicans are of African descent, the descendants of slaves brought to work on plantations. After emancipation in 1838, other ethnicities came to Jamaica, including Europeans, Lebanese, Indians, Chinese and Jews. Intermixing has produced a diverse modern population. However, African cultural influence remains strongest. Protestant Christianity is the main religion today, with around 64% of Jamaicans identifying as Protestants. Anglican and Baptist forms dominate as a legacy of British colonialism. Pentecostalism is rising quickly. Other growing faith groups include Rastafarians and Catholics. Many African-based syncretic religious practices persist as well. Jamaican Patois is the unofficial but widely spoken native language, reflecting a history of African slaves blending vocabulary and grammar. English is the official language used in government, business and education. The cultural influence of Africa is seen through art, stories, music, food and spiritual life. Yet globalization spreads American and British culture too among Jamaican youth. Jamaica has a diverse upper middle income economy heavily reliant on services and natural resources. The country's GDP is around $17 billion, according to the World Bank. Tourism and mining are mainstays. Jamaica is one of the Caribbean's leading tourist destinations and a major producer of Bazit, used in aluminum production. But Jamaica's economy has at times been plagued by high debt, fiscal mismanagement, infrastructure challenges and vulnerability to weather events. Unemployment, inequality and poverty rates remain problematic nationally. Still, Jamaica has abundant agricultural, manufacturing and service industries. Major exports today include sugar, rum, coffee, produce, apparel and cannabis. Key trading partners are the US, UK, Canada and China. The Jamaican dollar has declined substantially over recent decades, hurting living standards. Much of Jamaica's dynamic culture reflects a blend of African and European influences from its complex history. But a few key cultural facets have defined Jamaica's global reputation, its music and the Rastafari movement. Rastafarianism is an African-centered religion that emerged in 1930s. Jamaica among poor, disenfranchised black people who lived through the oppression of slavery and colonialism. It venerates Ethiopia's Emperor Haile Selassie, whom Rasta saw as divine, incorporating ideals of unity, social justice and African redemption. Marcus Garvey prophesied, look to Africa, where a black king shall be crowned, he shall be the redeemer. When Haile Selassie's I was crowned emperor of Ethiopia in 1930, many Rastafarians interpreted this event as the fulfillment of Garvey's prophecy. Rastafarian symbols, rituals, and the sacramental use of ganja capture popular imaginations worldwide, although local views are more complex. Jamaica also pioneered many popular musical styles. It all started with traditional folk music called mento, using banjos, hand drums, and call and response vocals. This set the stage for ska in the 1960s, fusing African rhythms, jazz, and R&B. Rocksteady emerged later with slower rhythms and prominent bass lines. Then came reggae in the 1970s, with major figures like Bob Marley, Bunny Whaler and Jimmy Cliff, creating the iconic Jamaican sound. Dancehall followed in the 1980s, especially popularizing ragamuffin dancehall, DJs like Shabba Ranks. These homegrown music genres resonate globally while still evolving inside Jamaica today. From Rastafarian spirituality to the beat of reggae music, Jamaica's cultural impact on the world continues. 
Now, when it comes to Jamaican food, there's a medley of dishes that are not just delicious, but also deeply rooted in the island's history and heritage. So, let's dive into five of the most iconic dishes that are a must-try when you're in Jamaica. First up, we have peppered shrimp. These are succulent, juicy shrimp sautéed with a medley of spices, typically scotch bonnet peppers, garlic and thyme. Next on our flavorful journey is oxtail with broad beans. This dish showcases the rich, tender oxtail stewed to perfection with broad beans, creating a hearty and comforting meal that's a staple in Jamaican households. Moving on, we can't discuss Jamaican cuisine without mentioning brown stew chicken. Imagine tender chicken marinated and slow cooked in a savory blend of spices, brown sugar and caramelized onions. It's a symphony of sweet and savory that's just irresistible. The legendary Jamaican jerk. This iconic dish needs no introduction. It's all about that blend of spices Scotch bonnet peppers, allspice, thyme and more, creating a fiery, smoky flavor synonymous with the island. Last but not least, we have the beloved Jamaican patty. These golden pastries filled with a variety of savory fillings like spiced beef, chicken or vegetables are the ultimate handheld delight. Perfect for a quick and delicious snack on the go. Do you have a favorite Jamaican dish that we missed? Share it in the comments below. Jamaicans are passionate about sports, especially global superstars like Usain Bolt, who have become national heroes. Jamaica punches far above its weight in athletics, particularly sprinting. Legendary Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt still holds the world records in the 100 meters and 200 meters races. His charismatic personality and post-victory lighting bolt pose captivated fans everywhere during his historic 2008 to 2016 Olympic campaigns. With eight Olympic golds and 11 world championship golds, Bolt will forever be the greatest sprinter of all time and a source of immense national pride in Jamaica. While athletics rules, Jamaicans enjoy many other sports too, like football, cricket, boxing, and bobsleigh. If you enjoyed this video on Jamaica, you'll love this next one.